Nearly a thousand people have no power there. There, the Humane Society is suffering some serious damage. While the animals were able to make it out alive, the building, as you can see, was another story. Maddie Sexton explains. The ceiling was collapsing. We had electrical wires down. And immediately our first priority was just checking to make sure the animals were okay. All of the Independence County Humane Society's dogs and cats survived the storm uninjured. But the building did not. We have a giant tree down on top of the building. Um, come to find out it's actually three trees. Inside we have actually the tree coming through the ceiling in the building, standing water in every room. Trees and debris are covering um, even our dog kennels. Heather McIntyre was just one of several volunteers that showed up to help with the mess. She says some parts of the building withstood the storm. Um, our main kennel area is okay. It didn't sustain really any damage. It was mostly our outside kennels. And even after cleaning up, she says they still need help from the community with other things. And we are going to need to find temporary placements for our cats and our kittens. McIntyre, who also serves on the board, says they have roughly 60 cats that need fostering for the time being, along with donations. Supplies are definitely going to be needed. Needed. You know, we lost we lost a lot of food, got wet, and has to be unfortunately trashed. Reporting in Batesville, Maddie Sexton, K8 News. Maddie, thank you. If you are wanting to help the Independence County Humane Society, there are several ways you can do so right now. You can scan either the QR codes you're seeing now to donate money directly. You can also buy supplies on the Animal Shelter's Amazon wish list.